Well, hello, all of you beautiful people out there in Minecraft land. How are you today? I, as you might well imagine, am fantastic. Oh my god, my voice sounds awful today. <laughs> That's okay, because I am having a fantastic time, and I hope you are having a fantastic time too. I am over here in the end, because today... I am going to start this episode by uh, doing a little bit of, uh, well, just one. I need, I need to fight a wither. I need to collect a single wither uh, star. Nether star. That's the thing. Yes. And uh, I'm going to do that in the new and improved uh, weather killing wither killing cage thing that I, I just fixed. One of the big issues we have right now uh, in the end is this very loud and extremely obnoxious uh, copper farm. Which is fantastic for actually farming copper. The problem is that if you uh, if you aren't careful, you end up leaving a whole bunch of zombies just wandering around the end island, and so uh, that makes uh, doing anything underneath this uh, end portal a little bit difficult. And so I decided to surround the whole thing in fences, which is just delightful. Now I can just open the door, come on in, and I have no worries about being attacked by zombies or uh, or Endermen or anything while I'm in here. Plus, I moved this around a little bit here, made it a little bit more obvious exactly where you are supposed to place your soul sand, and I have the soul sand right here. So let's go boom, 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 boom. And I've got my three wither skulls right here. Boom, boom, and I will put the third one right there in a minute. Uh, but yeah, I just want to make sure that everything is good and working and uh, this original um, cleared out area was um, Updated by me and then changed by star and then I changed it again to make it way better obviously So yeah, so here we go You can see that the wither is trapped very securely in the cage And I don't think I'll even take any damage if I'm standing right here when he explodes Let's find out So I have now changed my volume to be much, much lower, and now it's actually tolerable to be in this room. Um, I don't even really have to fight the wither at all. I can just stand here and let him suffocate. You can see he's taking damage, but I do have my epic carrot sword uh, that has um, Smite 5 on it, as well as a bunch of other things. So hopefully this will do the job in absolutely no time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 and 13. Oh, I guess one more. Oh no, that's it. 13 plus a little bit of suffocation damage. <laughs> I've got my invulnerable Wither's head and I've also got my Nether Star and now I can move on. And you might be asking yourself, why do you need another Nether Star? Uh, and that is of course to make another beacon. And why do I need another beacon? And why am I flying this way in the nether? Well, that is because I have been meaning to do a, a few minor upgrades to my stacking raid farm. I have never really been fully happy with the way the storage system was working here. Um, having to climb around and check chests and stuff. And so I gave it a little bit of an upgrade here in the form of just basically uh, adding some extra hoppers and chests uh, and item frames, of course, to indicate exactly what is going to be filtered into all of these spaces. So you can see, like, you know, glowstone here, and, you know, sugar here, and spider eyes, glass bottles, whatever. Um, lots of places for things like redstone and gunpowder, because you do get them in abundance. Um, I have three spots for emeralds, and then I still have an overflow chest for emeralds for anything that uh, that makes it past these, um, because I don't want everything just to end up in here. Even though, really, I mean, raid farms are funny things. This raid farm is actually so powerful that you can actually lose about 90% of the items that it produces and still come out with an incredible amount of items in a very short amount of time. But one of the issues that it does have is that you can't AFK at this thing for longer than about uh, five or 10 minutes without um, ending up getting some hunger uh, issues because um, what you're doing is constantly attacking with a sword and that does drain your hunger. So what I thought I would do is build myself a regen beacon out here. And that is why I've got myself the nether star as well as some of these other things that are required because look at that. Boom, beacon. I even brought myself a whole bunch of iron and um, if I am correct, this should be exactly the right amount of iron to actually build this beacon. And I think just for fun, I'm going to build this thing on the bottom of the ocean because, uh, yeah, why not? 
One minute, 37 seconds later. And there we go, the beacon base is all built, and we just plunk the beacon right down on top, and we light it up, and it is beautiful. Now, I do feel kind of bad for building the entire beacon out of iron blocks instead of emerald blocks when I'm this close to, uh, to the raid farm, but uh, I am going to use an emerald block to actually light this thing up, and I think we're going to go for... Um, Regeneration, uh, and maybe like, the, yeah, the highest regeneration we can get here. Nice. And now all I gotta do is get myself a little bad omen from that pillager outpost, which is conveniently located very close to my raid farm, and then I can AFK with no worries. Hawkeye! Got him! What is wrong with me? And now we just need to get into position and start swinging away at this little thing before uh, the raid bar gets too full. And of course, everything should be good. And hey, look, I need to join the game just in time for me to lag the server with the raid. 20 minutes later. And I am back from approximately 20 minutes of AFK at my raid farm. And as you can see, the regen beacon didn't really help with my hunger situation at all, but it did help with my health uh, considerably, actually. It's kept me alive uh, all that time I was AFK. And um, unfortunately, I'm down two hearts, and I'm not really sure why that is happening. I'm not regening health probably as fast as I should be regening health. But, uh, but hey, at least I'm alive. That means I can spend extended amounts of time at the raid farm without having to worry about it. And you know what? Let me uh, let me at least add a little bit of hunger so I can stop taking uh, taking health damage here. Yeah, so that's nice. And while we are here, let's put away our sword and head down to our storage system because we want to see exactly how we did in terms of all of these things. Uh, so let's take a quick peek here. Yep, that's full. That's full. That's almost full. Uh, how full? How full is this here? Okay, so not quite, um, not quite more than one double chest. But look, that's a full. That's two shulker boxes of emeralds. That's two shulker boxes of emeralds. That's another shulker and more than half of emeralds. Plus, with the little stuff that's trickling down. And you know what? I'll bet you there's yeah, there's stuff stuck in all these hoppers as well because there's uh, there's just so much that's come through. Um, redstone full, gunpowder full, glowstone. There's a lot there. Sugar, of course. There's a lot of sugar. Um, how are we doing here? see oh i can't open that one uh spider eyes full bottles full this is the overflow gunpowder and the overflow uh emeralds and yeah there's tons of stuff there and look at my inventory too i've got tons of stuff i forgot to put a blocker item in there so i actually picked up some emeralds and some uh some other stuff as well i love this farm so over by the glorious empire of the one true ruler lord thaddeus's uh portal inside the nether you'll notice that he has a sheep in a boat along with Norman the Dorman. But over here, along the path to his uh, hogland farm, he has a few more animals, namely this pig right here, and a couple sheep. Uh, and I know these sheep have wandered out of his portal and just kind of come in this direction, and I have asked him a couple times to clean up his mess, but uh, he hasn't done that. And so I, I think I'm going to rehome these sheep, because I could use, you know, a little bit of wool from time to time. So I thought, why not come along and grab myself some sheep and set myself up my own little sheep farm and there we go two sheep pinned up along with my alay and my uh mushroom cow the only problem is this this little sound right here and of course you guys may or may not know how much i uh, do not appreciate uh the sounds that these guys make but i think i have more name tags in my ender chest here somewhere yes right there and these might actually yes they're actually already pre-named for just this sort of environmental emergency here so uh hello mr sheep there's one and there's two and now we have no more worries about the awful sounds that these guys make so eventually i would like to have my own little sheep farm maybe i will make a uh, big sheep farm uh somewhere in my tower at some point but for now i only really just need a little bit of wool and i'm going to start with orange. So let me just dye this guy orange and this guy orange, then I'll get out my sheer coincidence and just a snippy snippy, a little bit of that stuff right there. And uh, that's four, that's that's enough for what I have in mind. Yes, over here, this is exactly what I was looking for because I saw that Total Thomas Man has left some uh, flower pots kind of floating in the air here. And I thought, you know what? They they really need to be carrots. That's, that's kind of what 
what they're for, right? So let's just get, uh, yeah, some of that in there. And I mean, I only have four of these things. So uh, there's that one and uh, that one. Perfect. Lovely. Beautiful carrots growing in his garden. So I happened to be wandering home back toward the casino today and I saw this. Well, let's start up here. No building past this point, please, vidmc. Uh, I'm a rebel, random 7S new home. Well, no problem. I, you know what? I, I don't like you being right here. Uh, you know, even though it's, you know, blocking everything. So I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna come in. I'm, in fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make myself a little bit, uh, more, uh, homey here. So like there, right there, maybe put a nice sign here that says, you know, everyone welcome. Yeah, perfect. And we'll even leave some nice welcome mats uh, at the front door. There you go. If anybody wants to come on in and have a look, yeah, they're welcome to do so. And now comes one of my absolutely favorite times on the server, when we get to welcome a brand new member onto the server. It has been a while since we had a brand new member. We had Dano, who joined right near the beginning of the season. Uh, then we had Star, who joined... Um, well, actually, right near the beginning of the season. He was uh, like a, a week or so behind. And oh, wait, I've actually flown way past this person's base. But we have a brand new member who is joining the server this week. And that person is camping right down here. And I do not want to show you the back of this sign because it has this person's name on it. And this person has not yet made a video on the server. And so I don't want to spoil who it is. And I'm going to drop this little box right there. That is my goodie box. And of course, I'm not going to show you that sign at all. This person is uh, bunked right near Captain Ronnie's cute little mailbox. And uh, hopefully I can go far enough away that you can't actually see whose name is on that sign because I don't want to spoil it until they have released their video. And that video might be coming this week or it might be coming next week or it might not be coming for a couple of weeks. Obviously, when a new player joins, they want to have a little bit of time to get uh, a little bit of progress done before they release their first episode. So no pressure. They can do that whenever they like, but uh, you guys are just going to have to wait in eager anticipation to find out who that is. Um, there seems to be an issue at the moment where the uh, roof of the casino is on fire. Um, I, I can't help but suspect this is due to the fact that I replaced some of Total Thomas Mann's uh, beetroots with carrots in his garden. Hmm... Well, luckily, I have two things going for me. Number one, I have fire resistance potions. And so, yeah, maybe I can get to a spot that's not actually uh, on fire. No, I'm just going to flame in my face. And the other thing I have going for me is uh, Ronnie, our fireman on the server. And I did post on our private server that uh, my casino was on fire. And so he, uh, he agreed to help me out. <laughs> well... At least I hope that's what that means. So let's just make sure we fill in all of the spots that we uh, missed on the last trip. So there's that. One here. And I think one more over here. And yeah, that ought to do it. Meanwhile, back in the shopping district, I heard that I have perhaps won a few of the auctions that I bid on last uh, week. So let's stop into the auctioneer's corner and see how I did. Looks like the first auction I won was uh, 18 diamonds for three shulkers full of sand. Ooh, I like it. So let's get 18 diamonds in there. 15, 16, 17, 18, right there. Next was six diamonds for two shulker boxes full of stone. Oh, beautiful. Okay, let's take those and one, two, three, four, five, six diamonds in there. Then I also won this one for six diamonds and that was uh, one, two shulkers of cobblestone. So let's get that in there. And last but not least, I won this box, which was three diamonds for a whole shulker of grass. Yes, I'll take it. Thank you very much. Ooh, almost missed this one, the packed ice for eight diamonds. It's a whole shulker of packed ice. I had eight diamonds left over and I was trying to remember, wait, didn't wasn't it oh, 41 diamonds? I pre-calculated this and showed up with exactly the right amount of diamonds. So I'm glad I didn't miss that shulker. 
All in all, I got nine shulker boxes full of good stuff for a total of 41 diamonds. That is a heck of a deal, regardless of what was actually in the shulker boxes, but uh, it was good stuff. I'm very, very happy with my purchases, and I will continue to make more great purchases like that in the future. As the rain pours down, unfortunately, I am out of time to record video stuff for this week. But as part of my impossible challenges, I do have to make a game or play a game every single week. I have spent a lot of time this week. I actually spent about three nights this week that I should have been recording... I spent them working in creative because I'm actually building a couple very big things right now. Things that are going to uh, basically reveal themselves in the next couple weeks. Unfortunately, they're too big and I, I didn't get anything really at a point where I could start building or display it this week. And of course, that's, that's what I like to do. I don't like to kind of show you a project that's half finished. I'd rather get it to a point where I can spend an episode building and then finish a project in one episode. So I'm going to leave it. Um, so you get two things. You get a slightly shorter episode this week, and you also get to see me spending my last five vid coins playing a game in my casino to see if I can actually win things. And of course, we're going to play the most popular game in the casino, and that is the Tower of Gold Machine. So I'm going to put all five coins in here, and of course, we're aiming for those golden keys. One, two, three, four, and five. Ah, oh, I didn't win anything. Are you kidding? Well, at least I got another vid coin. So let's pop that in there and go in for gold here. Bam. Oh, just a straight up loss. Well, that, kids, is why you shouldn't uh, play above your limits. <laughs> so let that be a lesson to you. If you, uh, if you can't afford the coins, don't go to a casino. Um, I'm not a big gambling fan, strangely enough. In, in real life, I, I don't go to casinos or gamble at all. It's just not my scene. But I thought it would be fun to build a casino in Minecraft, and so that's what I did. It's, it's neat because video games, and, and Minecraft in particular, let you do some of the things that you don't necessarily or wouldn't necessarily be able to do in the real world. So, I, I don't know. It's escapism for me. I enjoy it, and I hope you enjoy it as well as I fall in the floor. This reminds me that i got to take a trip to the end at some point and uh, get some more purper. That's why I'm out. I've got uh, enough frog lights, but I don't have enough of that. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you watching. I appreciate the views. I appreciate the watch time. I appreciate the subscribers. And if you want to see more great content like this, make sure you do subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you click the like button. Um, I know a lot of people say it and I know a lot of people don't do it. So please, uh, if you would, be so kind, click the like button. Thank you very much. And I will see you in the next, let's see if I can do this without killing myself in the casino, episode out.